Welcome back to the Veterans Day Parade here in New York City. Who do we have here? Sharp looking group. I don't know, I like their uh, outfits. It's a mixed outfit, isn't it? Looks like the old drill captain's hats. Yes. All right, we are learning a lot about the men and women who serve our country and keep us free and make us proud to be Americans. And we're also learning about the people who support our veterans and do so much, uh, especially when they come back home and they're not up to uh, feeling 100%. Well, this is Gary Chartrand on our right. Uh, he's from the Acosta Corporation. Sir, welcome. Nice thank, to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Why did, you're a big supporter of the Wounded Warrior Project. Tell us a little bit about them and uh, the work you do for them. Sure. Well, we're headquartered in Jacksonville, Florida, and so is the Wounded Warrior Project. And about three or four years ago, I got to learn about them. And they had me over and showed me what they were doing. And I just couldn't help but say, we need to get involved somehow, some way with our corporation. And we're in the sales and marketing business in the food industry. And what a wonderful way to run a promotion because most people shop for food. So what do you do? So we are actually running a program right now. It's called Believe in Heroes. You can go to believeinheroes.org and get coupons. We have about 10 million coupons up there on household name brands. Take them to your supermarket. And all those brands that are uh, on the website uh, have contributed a significant amount of money to the Wounded Warrior Program. We hope to raise somewhere between two and three million dollars this week for the Wounded Warrior. What are you at right wow. now? Do you have a, a tally at, at this point? Because maybe we can rally everybody well, to go out there and, and do something now. The last I heard, we were about a, a, a little over a million and a half. But you're up here in New York. What can other companies do to help you? Well, right now, I think the best way you, uh, people can help, not so much companies, but consumers, if you go to the website, uh, believeinheroes.org, okay. get the coupons. As you buy those brands, those brands are contributing to the Wounded Warrior Project. That's probably the best way. Give us an idea what the War Wounded Warrior Project actually does. Sure. Well, the mission of the Wounded Warriors is to honor and to empower wounded soldiers. Uh, there's somewhere over 40,000 wounded soldiers that have returned back from Iraq and, and Afghanistan, and over 300,000 that have returned with traumatic brain injury. So these warriors need a lot of help to get back on their feet. And so they empower them through uh, programs uh, educational programs, mental health programs, physical rehabilitation programs, and education, and workforce development. So they're doing just tremendous work for our, for our warriors. Gary Chartrand uh, from the Acosta Corporation in Jacksonville, Florida. We thank you for being with us here in New York, okay? And congratulations for uh, really some successful efforts uh, on behalf of the wounded. Great, thank you. Happy thank, Veterans Day. Thank you for all thank you do. Okay, thank Appreciate you. Bye-bye. All right, it's time to go to Elise. Elise Wick, our special correspondent with a special guest. Hello, Elise. Hi, Greg. I am here with John Rowan, the national president of Vietnam Veterans of America, and Colonel Connie Christensen, a Vietnam nurse, a very amazing Vietnam nurse. So, John, can you tell us a little bit about how special it is to see more than 25,000 people marching in this parade honoring service, especially as a Vietnam vet. What does that mean to you? Oh, they're so glad to see all the people come out on the sidelines as well as the marchers. And of course, being that this is the start of the 50th anniversary of the Vietnam War, it's especially poignant for us. Very good. Now, can you tell us a little bit about your work in, in Vietnam as well as a nurse? I was an operating room nurse in Vietnam. Uh, dealing with the aftermath of war on a daily basis. Uh, people that were badly and traumatically injured, not only by, by um, weapons, well, a multitude of different kinds of weapons, firearms certainly, but landmine injuries, people that had been burned. Um, it was really a difficult task. Thank you so much for both of you for your service. Now we're gonna go over to U-Haul and see what they have for us. My name is Stuart Schoen and I'm an Executive Vice President at U-Haul International. My grandparents started U-Haul in 1945. They were a military couple as my grandfather was in the Navy during World War II. They came back and decided they were going to start this, this small uh, business, just the two of them. And when they needed help to, to get it started, they relied on their family and their friends, many of whom were former military. And those are the people that started the company. And that hasn't changed today. Today, all of our recruiters uh, are former military personnel, and, and they actively seek out and look for former servicemen and women. 
because the, the skills and talents that they develop during their service are ideal for the way that we like to run the company. And 60 years later, U-Haul is still a family company that values veterans and welcomes them into our family.